Caillou and his friends were on a rescue mission to save Teddy. She's getting away! Faster, guys! Caillou, no catch Rosie! Rosie, too fast! Leo is struggling to keep his dinosaur under control. How do you steer these things? You guys look like you've got yourself in quite a tangle there. What have you been up to? Cave Girl Rosie has stolen Teddy. We are trying to catch her on our pet dinosaurs and save Teddy. Well, that does sound like quite the adventure, kids. You better get back to it. Sarah and Clementine wanted to catch up with Cave Girl Rosie to save Teddy. But they knew they had to think of a plan. I can see her going over the mountain past the clearing to the north. Maybe that's where her cave is. Nice spot, Clem. Let's draw out the island and we can figure out the best way to get to the cave. We're here. And the cave girl has escaped back to her cave on the other side of the mountain. To get there, we need to pass the quicksand lake and the river. We don't have to ride the dinosaurs again, do we? I think we should go on foot so we can sneak up and catch Ro- I mean, the cave girl. Let's go! The team of explorers came across some quicksand. Caillou thought this was going to be tricky, but Clementine had an idea. Then they crossed a river, which was very wide and very deep. Sarah spotted some stepping stones they could use to safely cross. and his explorer friends had finally arrived. They were so close to finishing their rescue mission. Cave girl Rosie was fast asleep, snuggled up to Teddy by the campfire of her cave. There she is! And there is Teddy! We need to move in slowly and quietly. We don't want to wake her. Leo! Leo, wait! I got him! Guys, I saved Teddy! <laughs> That's not good! Look! Caillou and his explorer friends rode through the jungle trying to get back home safe. Over the mountain, through the river, and across the quicksand.
But the Gilbertosaurus Rex wouldn't stop chasing them. Then, Leo had an idea. You did it, Leo! The team of explorers had saved the day and rescued Teddy. It was time for them to rest up before their next adventure. Caillou was chasing Leo round the jungle gym. They were pirates and Leo had stolen his ship. Caillou was determined to get it back. <laughs> Arr! You can run, but you can't hide! It was show and tell at school. Caillou was excited, but nervous to speak in front of his class. Okay, Caillou, ready when you are. What have you got to show us today? <laughs> this rope was my grandpa's. He gave it to me for my birthday. <sighs> he loves to fish. At weekends, he takes me with him and we catch all kinds. Careful, Caillou. Don't go overboard. If you want to catch a fish, you need three things. A rod, some bait, and a strong knot. <laughs> and some patience. What's that? <laughs> it's waiting even when you don't want to. Now, what you want to do is have a strong knot so that the bait doesn't fall away or get bitten off by the fish you're trying to catch. All we need to do now is wait. Once Caillou had thought back to those fun weekends, he stopped feeling so scared. He taught me how to fish, how to put a worm on the line, even how to steer the boat. And best of all, he showed me how to tie this cool knot. <gasps> See? You pass the end over itself like this. Then under and around the standing end like this. It's called a figure eight. Real sailors use it for all kinds of things. That was excellent, Caillou. I think we all learned something. was awesome! Thanks! At recess, I'll show you how to- Caillou, listen up! I want to go outside and show Leo my figure eight! Well, you need to be patient. You might learn something new. My daddy took me sailing this summer. He bought me this model sailing boat so that I can always remember. <gasps> if you want to go slow, you need to pull the sail out like this. And when you want to go really, really fast, you need the wind to hit the sail right here. One day, I'm going to sail around the whole world. That was just excellent, class. See, Caillou, there's always something new to learn, and anyone can be a great teacher. Now, recess! All the kids were out playing in the sunshine. Mrs. Martin looked around, smiling. As she looked, she spotted Caillou and Jessie in a shaded corner by the jungle gym. A storm's coming, Jessie! We need to get out of here! We need to move fast! Push that sail out, Caillou! Mrs. Martin had no doubt about what game they were playing as Caillou and Jessie sailed their model boat through the air. It was summer vacation, so Mommy and Daddy had taken Caillou and Rosie camping in the forest. Daddy had found them a beautiful spot right next to a lake. Here we are. Can I help? Sure, Caillou. With your help, we'll have the tent up in no time. 
Caillou was very excited. He really wanted to go and splash around in the lake. Look at the lake! Can we go and play in it? Soon, Caillou. First we need to put our tent up. Caillou helped Daddy with the tent. It was his job to hand Daddy pegs so that the tent didn't blow away. Almost done. Just a few more pegs should do it. Here you go! Hey! Go away, you! Help! These bugs are after me, Daddy! Slow down, Caillou. You need to be careful around the tent. You could trip. Oh. <laughs> Don't worry, Caillou. I think the bugs have gone now. Oops! How about you guys go and play by the lake while I put the tent back up? Caillou watched as Mommy skipped a stone across the lake. It bounced along the top of the water a few times before falling into the lake with a little plop. Wow! Magic! Caillou wanted to skip a stone, too. He picked up a stone and threw it as hard as he could at the lake. It didn't work! How did you make it bounce, Mommy? <laughs> Here, let me show you. First, we need to find a nice, flat stone. Like this one? That's perfect! Now, try and throw it low and straight. I did it! Great job, Caillou! Froggy! Oh, look! Rosie's found a frog! We're frogs, Rosie! Ribbit! Ribbit! The frog likes the lake, too! Bye-bye, Froggy! What are you two doing? We're frogs! Ribbit! <laughs> wow, that sounds like fun! The tent is back up! Do you guys want to come to collect some firewood? Okay! Caillou found lots of good sticks in the forest. He counted each one as he walked along. One stick, two sticks, three sticks, four! Look, I found four already! That's a lot, Caillou. <laughs> Great job, team. Let's head back to camp. It'll be getting dark soon. Caillou was nice and warm by the campfire. Daddy was busy making them all some tasty roasted marshmallows. Are they ready yet? Not yet. The outside will turn light brown. Then you know it's ready. Not so close, Caillou. We have to be careful around the campfire. Otherwise, someone might get hurt. Sorry, Mommy. I wanted to see my marshmallow. Caillou saw that the marshmallow was turning a light brown color. They're ready now, Daddy! Don't eat it! It's mine! <laughs> I'm not going to eat it, Caillou. I'm just cooling it down a little. Mmm! It's all gooey inside! Wow! What was that? Was it a spaceship? That was a shooting star, Caillou. If you see a shooting star, it means you can make a wish. You have to keep your wish a secret, though. Otherwise, it might not come true. Caillou closed his eyes tight and made a wish. I did it! I made a secret wish! Well, I'm sure it'll come true, Caillou. Caillou didn't tell Mommy or Daddy, but Caillou had secretly wished for more marshmallows. His wish had come true already. Today, Caillou and his mommy were going to do some gardening. What are you looking at, Caillou? There's a caterpillar! It's eating a lot of that big leaf, mommy. And it's only a tiny caterpillar. Well, it's a tiny caterpillar now, but soon it will be a big, strong butterfly. First, it needs to eat as much as it can. Caillou looked closely at the caterpillar, but it was so tiny, he didn't understand how it could possibly turn into a butterfly. What are you doing, Caillou? Caillou's friend Sarah was peeking at him through a gap in the garden fence. 
I'm trying to look at this tiny caterpillar, but it's too small. We can use my magnifying glass. What's that? A magnifying glass is something you use to make something small look big. Caillou looked through the <laughs> magnifying glass and laughed. It made Sarah's face look much bigger. <laughs> Caillou liked seeing the caterpillar through the magnifying glass. He could see all its tiny legs moving. I have an idea. Let's play Jungle Explorer. Caillou thought this was a great idea. He got down on his hands and knees and started exploring. Wow! A great big jungle monster! Caillou looked at the huge butterfly. It was so colorful. It's as big as a bird. It must have eaten lots and lots of leaves. Caillou wanted to keep looking at the butterfly, but it flew away. Come back here, butterfly. The jungle is much thicker there. You can't get through it, Caillou. If I can't get through it, I'll go under it. Caillou bent down as low as he could and crawled deeper into the garden. Caillou saw the butterfly again in the distance. It was on top of a ferocious lion who was sleeping soundly. I have to be careful not to wake up the sleeping lion. Oh no! The lion woke up with a roar and scared away the butterfly, which flew off deeper into the jungle. The loud rumbling in the sky startled Caillou, and it startled the butterfly, too. What was that? Caillou was very frightened and ran back out of the jungle as fast as he could. Sarah! Sarah! Mommy! Sarah! Did you hear that loud noise? Don't worry, Caillou. It was just thunder. That means it's going to rain soon. But it scared away my butterfly! That's okay, Caillou. Look, the caterpillar from this morning has made a cocoon. Mommy showed Caillou a jar with a cocoon inside. Caillou used the magnifying glass to see it up close. What's a cocoon, Mommy? When a caterpillar makes a cocoon, it means it's turning into a butterfly. Wow! Soon I'll have a butterfly of my very own! Wow, Caillou, that's so cool! Caillou had lots of fun exploring the jungle and looking for butterflies. He couldn't wait for the cocoon to hatch so he could play again. It was a cold, rainy day, and Caillou was playing in his room. Blast off! But Caillou really wanted to go outside. What's wrong, Caillou? I wish the rain would stop so I could go outside and play Space Ranger. Well, why don't you play Space Rangers here in the house? But I don't have a spaceship. You and Rosie could make one out of this old cardboard box. Caillou thought for a moment. He wasn't sure he'd be able to make a spaceship out of a boring old box. I'll go and get some things for you to decorate it with. Caillou couldn't decide whether to make a rocket, a spaceship, or a flying saucer. Rocket! I think you are right, Rosie. Let's make a rocket! 
Caillou and Rosie splatted paint, stuck down colored paper, and made the old box into the best rocket they had ever seen. You can't go into space without special helmets. Thanks, Mommy! Now we look like real space rangers! As soon as the paint was dry, it was time to blast off. It's time to go now, Rosie! We have ten seconds until liftoff! We need to get into the rocket! Ten! Wow! Nine! Buckle in, Rosie! It's gonna be a bumpy ride! Eight! All systems are go! Seven! Blast off! Rosie! We weren't ready! Ah! Whee! Soon, they were on a strange alien planet. Suddenly, Caillou spotted something moving behind a nearby rock. Hello? Who's there? Caillou thought the alien looked familiar, but he couldn't work out who. Hello! I'm Space Ranger Caillou, and this is Rosie. Kitty! No, Rosie, that's an alien! Suddenly, the alien jumped forward towards them and grabbed Teddy from Space Ranger Caillou. Teddy! Uh-oh, we have to get him back, Rosie! Come on! Caillou and Rosie ran as fast as they could, but they couldn't catch the alien. Get back here with Teddy! Teddy, come back! have a plan! We have to get him onto the ship! Rosie! Teddy! The alien ran onto the ship, scared of the heroic space ranger. Caillou's plan had worked. Caillou tried to pull Teddy from the alien's grip, but he held on tight. Give Teddy back! I did it! What are you two doing? I thought you'd be outside now that the rain has stopped. We've been on a space adventure, Daddy! Caillou and Rosie had so much fun on their space adventure, they jumped straight back into their ship and blasted off again. <laughs>